friends, welcome to Doodle Buddies with Nosh. Today I'm bringing two orphan pieces together to make a cloche. This glass shade, it's been with us for a very long time. It was a part of uh, one of the chandeliers that we had uh, in Dubai. But uh, in one of our moves it broke and ever since it stayed in, you know, wrapped up in paper in one of the cartons. Now that the studio is ready, I found it and uh, I decided to find a way to use it. I also found this plate. It's actually not a plate. It's a sort of a stand, uh, which may have carried one of our candles or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so I decided to see if it fits. Well, luckily enough, it fit very snugly. So this first step is to um, use some chalk paint. And I've given it one coat. But that won't be enough, so I'll be giving it a second coat in a bit. Yeah. So the idea is that once I apply the uh, chalk paint and make it white, so the base would be white, and then I'll place the, um, the glass uh, shade over it. And it does have a hole because that's where the light would, uh, the bulb would come from. So uh, what we'll be doing is placing... Uh, some of the rope over there, the jute rope. So this is the second coat that I'll be giving now. So this is how it's looking and I'm fitting this just to see how well it sits, it sits very well. Now I'm, so actually it already looks like a cloche right now, um, but I will, I'm going to uh, place this jute rope into the hole there and uh, tie a knot. I'll be, I'll be placing three knots, one which would be inside and the other two would, would, which would be out. I would prefer to have a rope which was thicker, of course, but um, I suppose this will do at this point, yeah. And um, once the the rope's done, then um, I, be, yeah, see it's coming off because it's not thick enough. I did try with another one as well, but that was just uh, the same thickness. The other rope as well has the same thickness. So anyway, this one will do. I'll make, uh, I, I think I'm going to glue some as well, uh, some of the hot glue so that it uh, does not pass through there.
just so that the uh, class does not um, um, create some scratches, um, I'm going to apply some glue, um, some of the hot glue, over the edge of the glass. Initially, what I did is I, I just placed a circle around it and uh, but, and let it dry. And once it dried, uh, when I did go to place it on the on the dish, I was not at all happy with the look. So I took it off and I gave dots. You'll you'll see it later on. I've given dots, um, and they look pretty cute. I mean, this is one of those projects where you you. You, it's, everything is trial and error, you know. You just keep trying and seeing how it's going to work out. And luckily enough, in this case, it worked out very well. Um, so you, you'll just have a look now. I'm just going to remove the entire thing because I was not at all happy with it. Yeah, the, the entire, see how shabby it's looking. It's looking very shabby, the glue. So I will be removing the whole lot and then giving it dots. Um, now you'll see. There, those dots look very cute. Now I'll be placing it over it, and it looks very nice. And uh, there you are, my cloche. <laughs> I mean, this is something which is um, open to your imagination, what you want to place inside. If you like this project, please subscribe to my uh, to my channel. And if you'd like to visit uh, my blog, it's www.doodlebuddies.net. So I'd love if you could subscribe and visit me on my blog as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.